InfoSwim is an ArcMap extension of um, the EPA Swim 5 model that works in Arc, ArcGIS 10.1, 10, and 9.3. It consists of a table of contents of different layers, and the layers are basically Swim 5 features, jun junction, dividers, subcatchments, conduits, etc. And you have the additional um, InfoSwim features of having a 2D model, you can have background bitmap layers, you can have different soils. We also have add-ons. For example, Subcatcher Manager will define a watershed for you and define the um, the uh, the ability to to define the um, the area, the slope, the imperviousness, etc., of, of your subcatchment or watershed. There's also a browser, so you can look at each of the different features of InfoSwim by using a a browser, so you can see what the junction data is. So, for example, a junction can have either 2D, inlet, or none as, as an option. You also get the output from that. Uh, there's a, a variety of tools available. You can, you can use um, background information that has an engineering review tools. It exports to SWIM 5, imports from HECRAS and exports to HECRAS if you have transect data. There's also an import and export manager for bringing in CSV data shape files, DWG files, and DXF files. Scenario Explorer is very important. It, it basically allows you to define different scenarios in your model. Um, we also have a, a domain manager and a facilities manager, so you can have different amounts of um, data or conduits in different, in different features. The run manager is similar to um, SWIM 5, except that we have the ability to have more than the SWIM 5 runoff, so you can have the um, SCS unit hydrograph, Snyder, etc. You can run it in steady, kinematic wave, or dynamic wave. Water quality, in addition to the SWIM 5 features for water quality, we also have H2S, corrosion, trace, sediment. In addition, we also have the ability to model, to model your simulation using 64-bit engine, 32-bit engine or multiple cores. So you can have up to 16 different cores if you have a, um, a machine with a multiple cores. You run the model and the model comes up, output comes up in a uh, text HTML so you can look at the, the model data, etc. You can review the model data using the output, re output report manager. which allows you to look at the graphs, look, look at the tables. So basically all the summary tables that come out in SWIM 5 show up as, um, show up as tables inside of, uh, inside of uh, InfoSwim that you can copy and paste, etc. There's also a calibration feature so you can have uh, calibration, ca calibration data. Okay, so this is a little bit about InfoSwim. It's built around the SWIM 5 um, engine, and we're, we're, all, we're always current with the, with the current SWIM 5. So at the top of the output file, it'll tell you what version of SWIM 5 it's, it's currently based on, and we're using um, version 5.02. So you can import and export easily to SWIM 5. You can have a lot of uh, additional features like scenarios, domains, and facilities to um, basically expand your model capabilities. So thank you for listening to this brief introduction to InfoSwim and you can also find more information at our, our InnoVice blog and you can look at um, InfoSwim category to see more information.